everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shoshana and you're watching Shoshana Say the Channel. Okay, so for this video, I will be talking about my trip to Nigeria. So for the year of 2019, what a year. That was insane. I think I actually went there 2018, but then it was New Year's, so I was there in 2019 anyways. I'm thinking for this video, I need to make it maybe a three-part video. Hopefully it's only two parts, but a lot happened. On my trip to Nigeria, and I was there for a long time. I was there for around three and a half weeks. You know, I went on Ethiopian Airlines, and I was traveling internationally, and it was really fun. I loved the music, I love the flight attendants. They were absolutely so pretty, like way better looking than Americans. Just the women in general, like Ethiopians are really pretty. And their food is spectacular. I absolutely love Ethiopian food. So when I was there, when I was on the plane, I just had a really nice flight. Everything was cool, everything was Gucci. Just a lot went down. I get to Ethiopia like in the morning I think like maybe like five in the morning I, I get into the Ethiopian airport because I'm transferring to Nigeria from Ethiopia anyways so you know I arrive in whatever in the airport there and this really handsome tall striking looking guy just stares at me he just looks at me and he smiles and I'm like okay what is going on does he know me like I don't think I know him like he's very handsome very charming why would someone just do that so anyways he introduced himself to me and I forgot his name I don't remember but <laughs> he asked me if he wanted to take me um, to get some breakfast before our, our flights took off and I was like all right that's cool sure why not some free breakfast come on I don't know we're just sitting at this like cafe looking thing and you know I don't remember what I ordered but I think I ordered like fruits and they have like weird beans but it was really good I ordered um, orange juice and he was telling me about his life how he was like in the Navy and he's married he as like three kids he's showing me his kids like he was just like super nice and he just I guess he just wanted someone to hang out with and he was just like it's so nice just to have like a buddy you know a travel buddy so I well since I was traveling by myself it's like it's really nice to just hang out with someone just to have a friend for a little bit before you depart so anyways we actually like sit next to each other while we were waiting for our flight to arrive I forget where he was going. I think he was going to South Africa or something. So, but we were like sitting in the same area for some reason. We were taking selfies. We were just chit chatting. Like it was just very pleasant. And I'm just like, thank God you're not a creep. And thank God you're actually like good looking and you're just super cool. And he got me water. And it's just like, it's just really nice when someone is just, you meet someone and they get you your, bags for you they get you water whatever you want like I don't know I thought that was really cool and then so I go on the plane everything's cool and and I I don't know I had to take like maybe at least three connecting flights before I got to Nigeria and I I almost stopped the place I thought was Nigeria but it wasn't it was like it's like it was still Ethiopia but like everyone spoke French or something it was so weird so so I got off of the plane and I was like kind of waiting around and I was like hey is this where I'm going is this where I'm supposed to go I was like showing the dude my ticket and everything he's like oh no you're not supposed to be here you're supposed to get be, be back on the plane I was like what like how come like no one told me so this guy I was sitting um, on the plane with he was sitting right next to me. He was like this Nigerian dude going to Lagos, I think. I was going to Abuja, he was going to Lagos. Abuja is the capital of Nigeria. Lagos is just a really big city. And he was so nervous 
on the flight. Like he wouldn't talk to anybody. He wouldn't like, he didn't even talk to me. And we were like around the same age and he seemed pretty cool too. And later on when I was in Nigeria, I asked, um, I asked someone, I'm like, hey, like, why do you think that dude wasn't talking to me or just like, was just like really nervous, like looking around and just like really to himself. And basically what they told me, they were like, oh, you know, just afraid of flying and he, he just wants to get off of the plane as soon as possible. I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But it's like a long flight and I get bored easy and I, I do like talking to people. So I'm not like, I don't know, I, I like my space, but when I feel like talking to people, I love talking to them. Um, so yeah, so I get to Nigeria. It is freaking hot out. Like it's so hot and it just everything was so unorganized when I got there. Like I don't like I felt like the airport they it wasn't like completely built. Like there we had to go I can't describe it, but it just like was like deconstructed basically. So we had to like wait sort of like kinda inside outside to get our luggage and everything and there's like no AC so we we're just like freaking hot and um like I was waiting like hours and hours until my ride shows up. But mind you, um, my aunt was the one that actually invited me to, to uh, go to Nigeria to visit there for the first time. She lives there and she works there and everything. So she's kind of like a big deal. Like I don't wanna, I don't wanna like be a snob or anything, but she, you know, she knows like government officials, so She's like, she's kind of like a celebrity in, in Nigeria, like not really, but she has like security and she knows a lot of rich people. So anyways, this, this guy that picked me up is like one of our friends that she introduced me to. Like he's like a millionaire in Nigeria, so he picked me up in his like really nice car. So I meet him for the first time. I'm like, oh, hi, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for letting me stay at your place and everything. Like he was cool, he was super nice. And we're driving, everything's cool. I'm getting to know him, he's getting to know me. Like, it's cool. And then all of a sudden, we get into a car accident. Like, no joke. Like, the first day I'm in Porta Court, we get into a freaking car accident and I'm like, are you kidding me? This is so weird. So the dude like, he just like hits us, I think from the side or something. And since Nigeria is so corrupt, uh, you know, there are no police or no nothing. We kind of just, thank God everyone was okay. He just kind of let the guy go. He kind of just let the guy go because he knew that the guy could not afford such a th such a thing like it's just like Nigerians are so poor that they'll just beg and beg and people will just ask you for money no matter how old they are young or old they, they don't care like they'll just come up to you like literally like people are coming up to us like while we're in the car just like knocking on our door and asking please 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 sir please give me money and I'm like First of all, I don't even have cash on me. Like, I, I have my credit card maybe, but I, I wasn't even using any money because my, my aunt was taking care of the whole thing. So she's like, oh, don't worry. You know, everything is cool. You'll, you'll be taken care of. And I'm like, all right, that's nice. I don't know, I get to his mansion. He has like a huge house. Like, it's so weird. He has a really big house and uh, he wants me to pick a room to stay in and oddly enough I pick his room and I'm like oh my gosh I'm so sorry like I didn't mean to pick your room he had like maybe five or six rooms and uh, he's like no it's okay you can stay in there and I'm like okay all right thank you and <laughs> it's so funny this is like the weirdest story ever okay I was there, everything was cool, and I wanted to meet up with my friend who actually was, like, he lives in Port Harcourt. How random is that? Like, that I just, like, go to, like, this random place that, I've, first of all, I never even heard of before I visited Nigeria, and he was this guy that I met on Instagram. Like, he would just always, like, try to talk to me, try to hit me up. I asked my, I asked my aunt, I was like, can I please go visit him because I've, I've actually like been talking to him for a couple years now and he really wants to meet me 
and my aunt's like, sorry Shoshana, you cannot go and meet with him. There's a huge kidnapping problem in Nigeria. I was like, oh really? And she's like, yeah, a lot of people are getting kidnapped here. Like it's a very corrupt country and nothing bad happened to me while I was in Nigeria. Like I didn't get kidnapped or anything like that. And when I was in Nigeria, just like, you know, there's so many black people there. It was not diverse whatsoever. I saw a couple of Asians and some Indian people. But other than that, it just like was not, um, was not diverse. And I really, I don't know, I felt like so out of place. I'm like, what is this? Like, <laughs> I was, I just was so not used to it. Oh yeah, I saw one Israeli dude. I was afraid to talk to him because if you didn't know, your girl's Jewish and your girl likes Israelis and I was like, I was like in this random office at the airport, like in Nigeria, and um, I don't know. I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk to him. He was like literally sitting right next to me. He was speaking Hebrew. I know a little bit of Hebrew, and I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let time pass and not talk to this handsome gentleman. But it's okay. <laughs> in uh, Port Harcourt, you have to use like a bucket to like shower and everything like you need to fill up water you have to like literally go downstairs fill up water bring it back upstairs like it's a long process and like there's a generator where you know where there there can be light and everything inside the house uh, but sometimes it shuts off so it's like when it shuts off it just like <laughs> you literally just have to wait until it comes back on again like it's not going to just magically appear again because people need to buy petrol I think they need to buy petrol to to um, to start the generator and everything so like a lot of people in Nigeria they don't have like the luxury of, of petrol and electricity like it's just not a thing so <laughs> I don't know it's just like Port Harcourt was crazy like it's just a lot of mess going on like it was it was cool I'm glad I got to experience it but I want to tell you another thing about Port at Court it like when I was there I did not leave the house like I only left when we were all going as like family like out to hang out and party so the reason why was because, first of all, there are no street signs. I'm like, who doesn't have street signs? I'm like, how do you guys know where you're going? Like, it was beyond me. I was like, girl, I need, I need that GPS on deck. Like, I need it. <laughs> and it was so dry there, and there's just like dust and a lot of bad people just roaming around. Like, I, it did not feel like a normal place because there are no like streets. Right, like no, no, like normal neighborhoods or streets or parks. It's like it was just so different than what I'm used to. And um, my friend Stanley, he had these really vicious dogs that he kept in cages. And like every time we would we would go in and out of the house, they would like bark really loud and like they had to like be outside. In like a hundred degree weather like it was a lot I'm like why do you let your dogs like stay like that like the reason why they're so vicious and just nasty dogs is because you know since it's, there's a kidnapping problem since there's a lot of corruption in Nigeria like uh, it's so that dogs can like scare people like off the property and everything because Stanley had a lot of people working for him so um, he needed to protect everybody so we had like really vicious dogs around. So I have a couple more things to talk about my trip when I was in Port Harcourt in Nigeria. I asked tons of Nigerians if they've ever been to America. I, I was so curious because I thankfully have been able to travel a lot all around the world and I'm pretty blessed actually so I just was curious I was like oh so have you been to LA have you been in Las Vegas you know I was just so curious to to see if they ever 
have visited, you know, the places I've been or even outside of Nigeria. And they told me, they're like, well, it's really hard to get visas here. So no, I've never been to America. I was like shocked because there's so many people I know that have traveled and it's just like, it's kind of unfortunate. So that was like one thing that I, I was like shocked. I was like, you know, I'm so lucky that I get to go to like these different places. And a lot of people just can't in Nigeria. Like, it's kind of sad. And if you're a Nigerian watching this, like I'm, I'm obviously part Nigerian and I just would love to tell you my experiences and stories. I have nothing but good things to to say. Like I genuinely really enjoyed my time in Nigeria. Like there are some things that were a little off-putting and just things I wasn't used to, but in all, like I really did have a good time. So I'm not trying to bash Nigeria or anything like that. I'm just really saying my experience. So when we went out to Nigeria, well, when we went out in the city Port Harcourt, they have movie theaters. They actually have shisha lounges. I'm like, what? Shisha lounges? Like, that's insane. Like, hookah? I love hookah. Well, I did love hookah. I don't really smoke that much right now, but when I was there, I was doing it. Like, every time I got the chance, it's like, all right, let's go. Let's party. So it was basically me, my aunt, my cousin, and my friend Stanley and his brother. So we would all like just hang out. So it was like a legit, like they have a lounge. We went upstairs. Like I felt like I was VIP. I was like, wow, they have like really nice places here. Like I did not think that Nigeria would have nice places, but they actually do. And they, they're really into shisha. Like there, there's so many different flavors. They always just want to party. So I love it. Like I, I was so for it. I'm like, yes. And the music was so loud. It was crazy. They don't care how old you are. Like obviously I'm, out, I'm of age. So don't get that twisted. Like I'm of age. I'm 24 years old. Like at that time I was like 23, I think. And um, it was just a, a party. Now their food on the other hand, I cannot stand. I mean, when I would order food, I would just kind of just eat plain food just because my body can't handle a really spicy food and that's mostly all that they have. I really had to be careful with with eating because I have a really sensitive stomach. Like it's just like the food there culturally it's so different from the food in America. It's so weird. Like in Las Vegas we only have one Nigerian restaurant and it's super expensive. I think I don't even know how much it is for just like a plate of like rice and chicken. I don't even know. It's like it's really up there. But anyways, yeah the food was like I cannot eat it. Like they had a lot of meat, a lot of spices on the meat and it was just like when I was at the hookah lounge I was so hungry but I didn't eat anything because I was like I'm not trying to get sick right now. Like I'm really not. Like I don't know I just had a lot of alcohol and just a lot of shisha and I was just chilling with everybody. I could probably like post a video of me like parting it up and dancing. In all, I just, like, I love that they're just so happy and they love to party like me. Like, they really do a good job. They, they really stay positive in their situation and that's what I really liked so much about Nigeria. And I was treated like a princess, so how can you beat that? Like, honestly, I had such a nice time. And we also saw Aquaman in theaters. It's like kind of funny. The movie theater there, it's really funny because it's not like a normal movie theater. You go there, they had like restaurants and stuff, but it was kind of empty. 
Um, we go inside the theater and Aquaman is playing, but on a, like a projector, like obviously a projector, but there's just like a, sh a sheet, like it, there is no screen. Like, you couldn't put your feet up or anything like that. And they had like popcorn, I guess. They actually, they actually had popcorn. I was like surprised. I was like, oh wow, you guys have popcorn? That's great. <laughs> We just, we took like cool pictures, like they have, oh yeah, and it was like around Christmas time. It was before Christmas, but they, they put up the, um, I'll put up a picture right now. They put up, uh, just a lot of beautiful Christmas trees and I think at that time I had my hair braided, so you can see my hair braided. And that's like a story in itself. Like I can't even, it's just like a lot. Like I'm just gonna give you the bare minimum and say that my hair is super long and I had a lot of extensions in and it took around like four and a half hours to, to braid my hair, which is not bad. It's really not bad. Look at this hair. I like so much hair. <laughs> It's a lot and it's just like everyone just has their hair did like you know everyone just looks so pretty with all their hair extensions and I just felt like I was just like everyone else because I had my hair braided finally I was like wow and it was super cheap there too it was like equivalent of $30 $30 to get your hair braided in Nigeria over here it would be like 200 to like 300 dollars i never have gotten my hair braided here i mean i have but not like how how i was in nigeria like nothing can compare they really know what they're doing in nigeria it was so cool so anyways i think i'm gonna wrap up part one of this so it was so great being there to be honest like even though a lot of the drama happened i still i don't know i still really liked it it was it was really cool thank you guys so much for watching this part one of my trip to nigeria and uh, tune in for the next video it'll be up um, after this video airs I guess yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you have any questions or if you have any ideas of videos that you want me to do please feel free to just shoot me a message comment on my video because I'll, I'll be reading the comments why not so yeah thank you so much all right bye guys